Næste segment for vores fint udvalgte sortiment af små programmer, det er igen lidt politisk. Eller faktisk meget politisk. Det er, at Thomas har igen været ude og filme en demonstration, og det har været Free Paul Watson demo, som foregik på Rådhuspladsen og blev arrangeret af nogen, der hedder Vegan Action Danmark, eller Vegansk Action Danmark. Ja, begge dele går vel. Og hvis du nu sidder derude og tænker, hvem er Paul Watson? Så er Paul Watson en aktivist, der startede i Greenpeace, men senere lavede hans egen ting. Og det, han virkelig demonstrerer meget imod, det er valgfangning. Det er også en klassisk Greenpeace-tema tilbage fra 80'erne. Save the whales! Og han gør det seriøst. Øhm, det var ikke for at lyde ironisk, jeg sagde det. Det var mere bare referencen til 80'erne. <laughs> øhm, Paul Watson, han øhm, er blevet fængslet i Grønland på grund af en aktion mod et japansk fisker, et valfiskerskib i det nordatlantiske hav. Og øhm, det er der nogen, der er meget, meget urinige i, at man skal kunne fængsles for og øh, at stoppe folk i at begå øh, valgfangst i det, der ikke er så skide mange valer tilbage. Øhm, jamen, øh, I kan se mere her og blive klogere på den demonstration. Lidt os igennem gaderne af København nu. Uh, Pretzel har lovet, at hun gerne vil sige et par ord. Hun er en fantastisk aktivist, bruger al sin tid på at kæmpe for dem, som ingen lytter til. For dyrene nemlig. Så alle sammen giv en varm velkomst til Pretzel. Thank you all for joining today. Um, and I will say something that maybe you will not expect me to say, and that is... I do not want to talk about Paul Watson, because we talk about him a lot. You know, he's this guy who formed several organizations. Everybody knows him. But I am here today not for him specifically. I don't know him. And he's only one of many, like Yellow said earlier today. There are so many others like him. And this is why I'm here, because I am scared. And not only for myself, but I'm scared for my friends who do activism because I do not want to see my friends go to prison because they fight for what they believe is right. I am scared when I see how our rights are being taken away and how innocents who are fighting for other innocents are sentenced for years in prison. I am scared when I think of the place the world might become if we stop fighting. And that is why we're here today, because Paul Watson, just like us, fights for what is right. He is fighting to prevent slaughter and the murder of innocents. Because when you speak up for those who don't have a voice, for those who are killed and imprisoned, then people want to silence you. But we should not stay silent. We should speak up, we should go out, like we did today. And we have to make the world known that we will not just go away. We will not have our rights taken away because they get uncomfortable by us. It's the same people who always say it is like, live and let live. But if you point out that they are the ones who do not let live, that they are the ones who kill, who cause so much suffering, who do not let other people in peace, who take away their rights, then they get angry at you, and then they also try to take away your rights. And I'm scared because it's getting worse. We hear so many stories of activists going to prison. And it's getting, it's getting longer sentences. People get arrested for things that they have a constitutional right for. And still, this is why community is so important. Why we have to look out, look out for each other. Why we have to be there and speak up when we hear something like this happening. We have to be there and we have to not forget that we have friends. We are not alone. And together we can be strong and fight for freedom. Because nobody is free before everybody is free. Thank you. Okay, we're ready. So give it up for Income Town. Woo! 
know why we're here. We're here because the police took Paul Watson, just like they take a lot of activists to fuck them. So it goes, fuck culture, the Alvoa di da Soda, fuck culture, the Alvoa di da Soda, fuck culture, the Alvoa di da Soda, the Alvoa di da Soda. Det gør det sgu fucking svært at bære aktivist Det lige før, men det gider at gå på gaden Det er sgu fucking trist Fordi det er altid uudholdeligt at holde ud De skal altid kontrollere en med dagens opdigtede ti bud Så den ene dag må man ikke demonstrere på et fortorv Og en anden betjent synes man ikke må demonstrere Hvis ikke man får lov Og hvis jeg løfter min finger af dem og siger Hov hov, så bliver jeg banket i gulvet Hvilket de andre betjente synes var sjovt Det er fucking flotte, de har for sidste hoved for lov at findes Fuck de små borgerlige, der skal spille ud af virkeligheden Kan ikke forenes Det er vigtigt at folk vågner op og ser sandheden Men det gør de ikke, for det er dem, der oplever under det er os, der skal håndtere et stort mandebarn, som ikke kontrollerer sin følelser. En voldsparat psykopat, som tager dig personligt, fordi han elsker pølser. Panserne bliver sure, hvis man siger sandheden, og ikke taler i kodet. Så vi anholder en, hvis man formerer dem op. De er lort i deres hoder. Fuck politiet, 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 de er lort i deres hoder. Um, so I'm going to speak in, in English. I hope that's okay with everybody. And I wrote something down, so I'm just gonna read it. Uh, sorry if I'm not looking at you all the time. I have to look at my phone. <laughs> okay, so if the oceans die, we die. Uh, those are very true words by a very dedicated individual. Paul Watson has devoted more than 50 years of his life to the cause that he and probably, hopefully, everyone here believe is the most important cause to fight for the animals, which is to say also to fight for the planet. An activist, a visionary and a warrior for the oceans and especially the whales, Paul Watson has never backed down no matter the personal cost. He's been arrested multiple times, hunted by governments and corporations who profit from animal abuse and environmental destruction. And once again now, once again now he's behind bars. This time his life is in the hands of the Danish authorities. And for what? In his own words, because of doing what governments should be doing, but refuse to do themselves because of the threats of trade, reta trade retaliation from Japan. In other words, when governments and authorities refuse to take action to save the oceans, to save the planet, and in turn to save every single one of us, it is time to take action into our own hands. That is what Paul Watson stands for, and that is the reason he's currently being held in a local prison in Nuuk and has been awaiting decision, the decision of the Danish authorities for two months now. The system is not only unjust, the system is set up to only protect big companies and people in power. That is why Paul Watson, as well as many others, feel that protesting is not enough. He considers himself an interventionist, interfering and shutting down unlawful operations that law enforcement is unwilling or unable to stop. His tactics, although not very appreciated by a number of organizations, not saying who, have been very effective and his action ha actions have saved the lives of thousands of whales throughout the years. The most important thing is to keep going and to do whatever you can do whenever you can do it because together we can make change happen but we need every single one of us to take action so today i thank you all for being here taking action and hope that tomorrow you'll still be here with the rest of us fighting against oppression and injustice and lastly i'm going to leave you with one more quote from paul watson all social change comes from the passion and intervention of individuals Free Paul Watson! Free him now! Fuck the Fuck Fuck the Fuck the Fuck and WA said the best when they said fuck the police As long as the fascist system exists there won't be justice or peace As we all know total liberation won't just grow on trees We need to teach the cops about bricks and bats against the birds and bees It's best when black mass bubbles and bricks is all they see And yes the A stands for all and ACAB So it's okay to throw anything at them indiscriminately I won't discriminate them like they discriminate me We need to fight by any means to resist their repression Sometimes finding new ways to fight can be quite refreshing To get around them you just need to be a little cunning Be the creature of the night 
for the one that just loves running We can be extremely powerful through ALF strikes And since we're all animals here, talking about animal rights Remember why some animals flee, some animals fight And if you ask Danish police to tell you this animal bites Fuck we till, dear lord, eat us holder Fuck we till, dear lord, eat us holder Fuck we till, dear lord, eat us holder Dear Lord, eat us holder. Fuck we till. Dear Lord, eat us holder. Fuck we till. Dear Lord, eat us holder. Fuck we till. Dear Lord, eat us holder. Dear Lord, eat us holder.